This is Wolf Outdoor Review here. Today I'm going to be going over the Streamlight Sidewinder. This is not the Compact 2. This is the original Streamlight Sidewinder. So, because I've done a review on the headlamp version, which is the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact. So, this is that, what's that is. To start off, we are just about... I guess four inches, I'd say. Four centimeters. Not sure. But four. Is it there? Doesn't say. So, anyway, that's the dimensions there. And then wide at its widest point, it is one. Two and a half. So that's the dimensions for this. Okay, to start off, we're going to go over its features. So it makes it out. And here's the light. It is, fits in the hand perfectly. It's um, um, fits really well in the hand. And um, very bright. Same colors as the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2. So, has four different levels of light of all colors. So, we'll cycle through them real quick. Got white. Blue, IR, red, and then all lights have a flash mode. And a hidden mode, which I forget which YouTube video I saw it on. But anyway, if you take this, double click, go to a random color, red, white, any of them, and hold down f five seconds, it'll go into blip mode. It, I think it blinks every five seconds. I'm not sure much how long it is but that's what it will do and that does it in all colors so that's good for if you put it on the back of a backpack you can uh, keep people behind you know where you are you can use it to if you have a helicopter or something you want to get their attention put a nail through there into the ground and set up four of these and you can make a helipad you can use that to signal like if you use normal blank but slower or faster that could mean something set daddy light could mean something and then this could mean something. So you have three different communication ways. And you can do Morse code if you want. Of course, you'd have to be careful because not really good for that. But um, when it comes to the uh, thing here, you can remove it. And as I will do, show you now. All right, so here's how you remove it. Take this, you put it in, it's basically a screw. If you don't know how to remove a screw, okay. so what you do is that. And you end up with 
three parts that can be lost. As you can see, it's clear of everything. I ended up, be careful here because um, what I did is I had this and went screwing like that. And if you do that, it'll look like you lost a piece here. Let's see, which way do I want it on? So yeah, see if you put that in there, push it down. If you put it in like this, if you go to the back, Looks like you're missing a bolt or something. But, so if you do it there, this will pull out. So that's something I had to figure out on my own. Instead, what you have to do is not go and put the bolt on this side. You need to put it on this side. So what you do is you take this, you go on whatever side you want, Depends on where you want your button. If you want it on this side, faces like that. So you can either have it like that or the button on the other side. I like to keep my buttons on the right side. So that means you can move it. What I do is I put a screw in, screwed in barely, push, screwed out, and it falls out. Now what you do is find out which side you want it, flip down, act like you put it on you. Then push it in. Then what you do, find it. It'll spin a bit. Eventually it'll sink. And fall into place. What you do? No, I did that wrong. Sorry, I'm thinking of how this works. You'd want it the other way. So yeah, you want it facing the wrong way. Of what you want it. So it goes like that. And when you flip it over, you should. And then what you do is put that in there. Put the screw in. Wobble it around until it clicks. I like to hand tighten it until it can't be hand tightened anymore. Um, so, then you take a screwdriver. And what you do find it. Screwed in. So that's how to remove and replace the uh, clip. Some situations you don't want the clip, some you do. That's how that works. So, overall, this is a very nice light. Um, you can put it on a belt. I'm not sure if it fits on the headband. I'll do an update video where I compare the two and I will test it then. I know this works on the uh, Helmet mounts, as shown in a previous video, the side, Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2 video. I will do a, if you go to playlists on my channel, I will have a Streamlight Sidewinder series. So go check that out, definitely. Um, all right, now that we've gone over the features on the outside, so, oh, it tilts 185 slash 95, I think, degrees. One of those two, I forget. These rotates indefinitely 360 degrees. So you don't have to stop when you get to. You can just keep going. Um, so that's the outside. I already went over dimensions. Now we're gonna go over the bottom. To change the batteries, well, first of all, there's a lanyard hole here. So you can either go through there or both and put a lanyard on. So for the battery compartment, what you do is you just twist, 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 twist. And eventually, it'll pop out. And you can move the batteries. Like so. But what's nice is if you want to clean it, you just keep twisting. takes a while because, but yeah, it comes off. 
then you can clean it, do whatever you have to. But it does completely come off if you want it to. These, this thing has a uh, O-ring on right here. Very high quality. This is a steel cable. Wow. Very high quality steel cable. So that's how it works. This, it has a, a bolt that goes up to here normally. So when you unscrew it normally, it just rides up and down there. But once you screw it in all the way, and this part turns with that, so this is technically stationary. So, but then it's got these two, which you'd think, oh no, I've got to put the batteries in. That's a uh, negative port. But no, one of them's positive, one's negative. If you want to know which one it is, there's a plus that's positive. Plus, positive. So if you feel in the dark, you feel a nub, that's a positive. Then take the positive, which is a nub, put it in there. And then the positive here, put it in there. So you can do it in the dark. And then you can put the lid back on. And as you can see, when I turn, now it's attached. It takes a lot of turning to get this sunk back in. But you don't want to lose it, do you? So. Now, once it gets in, see, there's like a barrel. So it's got a thread on the top and the bottom. And in the middle, it's like a smooth, like a pistol barrel, or a gun barrel. And then it's got threading. That way you can... How much you do that? This works any direction. It depends on which way you want the uh, lanyard. If you want the lanyard in line with that, you turn it like that. If you want the lanyard the other way, you do it the other way. But now we're just going to do it this way. But yeah, all this can be done in the dark. We're going to go that way. Okay. And it, I believe it should have a lip there. Because I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a lip right there. And it's bigger than the rest. I don't know if it's like that, but mine is. So, um, let's think, what have I not gone over? We went over the nubs. Those are four positives. And the negatives are down there. So, um, other than that... Yes, this takes two double A's, lithium or the other one. Um, this rotates, it's a great light. You can put this on a helmet for like Kevlar helmet mount or the tactical rail mount and put it on the bottom of a gun or a side of a AR or whatever. Then you can fan the light out, down or whatever. I like it because it stands up Then you can turn it on Point it, leave it if you need to. It's nice and lightweight. Doesn't make too much noise when you shake it. Tactically, it's nice. Um, when I have in the dark, what I do is I find it face it IR side, safe up. Then what I have is in the middle. We've got IR, obviously. Then what you do is from IR. Yeah, from white. If you're since you're not in the military, you wouldn't need IR. From white, if you go up, or wait, no, uh, yeah, from IR, yeah. If you go up, yeah, IR going up, it's blue because towards this up is the sky. from IR, if you go down, it's red, and that's lava, or molten, that could be put towards religion, if you were a Christian, you could say, from that going up is heaven, that's blue, or white, whatever, going down is hell, red. There's a lot of different things you can think of, but that's just what I use, one of those two. And you got white. Other than that, this is a very good EDC. 
flashlight. I have this in pair with my uh, Streamlight Sight Wonder Compact 2. Same deal, same colors, same watt, same lumens. It's just one's a flashlight. And as I sh I'll show in a later video, but I'll explain now. The Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2, it's on a the eclipse this way. And it goes up and down. So the clip and the uh, rotation are parallel. This way, the clip and the rotation are not parallel. So the clip goes down, but the rotation goes this way. On the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact, the, the clip is this way, and the rotation is this way. So, depending on if you have body armor, you would want this one, because then you can put it on the body armor, go up and down to read a map, or whatever. You can put this on the uh, brim of a hat. It'll let me, like so. Or, or if you want, you could put it on the uh, side at an angle, like so. So that's the uh, utilities of this. This has uh, some sort of impact resistant plastic covering all the lenses and it's beveled so that if you drop it, it will work again. Um, overall, this is a very nice light. Um, I've tested this thing in a lot of situations and it has worked flawlessly. Um, I can't recommend it enough. But if I had to recommend one that you pick up, either the Streamlight Signwinder 2 or Compact 2 or the Streamlight Signwinder, I would choose the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2 just because of portability and it's the same. You can And you can use it as a headlamp if you want. You can use it as a small flashlight. This is kind of big. But this one you can put on a table and use it as a map light. And since it angles just below 90, you can use it to shine on the workspace. Um, this light will fit in a Molly 2 grenade pouch. I will show, demonstrate that now. All right, I'm back. I had to grab a grenade pouch to demonstrate. So we've got the grenade pouch and the flashlight. If you put the flashlight in upside down, it fits perfectly. Like so. so this will work with any grenade pouch you own, whether it's digital camo, desert camo, or this, or multi-cam. Anything, as long as it's a military grade, military sized, this might also work with the Coyote Brown ones. Because I know there's probably some Marine Corps soldiers watching, whatever. But any grenade pouch you have, this will fit in. Fits there, you can fit probably more batteries in there. I'll go check that right now. And I'm back. Um, what I found is that you can fit at least six batteries in there, along with your Streamlight Sidewinder. Or, and a Zippo, if you only do two. So that's a lot of package for a little grenade pouch. Just to show you, it does close. Now you've got a kit. You've got two forms of light, a lighter and a streamlight sign winder. And batteries that you keep in it, plus spare. And of course, you could probably put the spares in a small little baggie to keep them waterproof. The flashlight itself is waterproof for up to 30 minutes, up to one meter of water. So, food for thought. Yeah, this is a standard grenade pouch. It's got molly on the back. Put it on a backpack, put it on a vest, put it on your belt, put it on anything. It's there. You need to access it quickly, rip it open. Of course, assuming you don't have that, you need to grab it. I don't tend to do that. I just store it like this in there. That way, if I want it, just 
peek out of the thing, I can have light. Of course, that's IR. So. There, I can put it in my pouch and still have light. Now when I'm done, turn it off and cover it back up. So, of course it doesn't want to cover. There we go. So, that's how I store mine. But if you had to store, if you're going on a mission where you don't need it immediately, like it's middle of the day, you could put extra batteries and a lighter in there. So, that's one of the uses you can use for a grenade pouch. So, you see this is a, just, if you're curious, this is a, known as a hand grenade pocket by Specialty Defense System Style 4130. I believe it's an M67 fragmentation grenade pouch. But they will fit in there, along with the Sidewinder Compact 2 will fit in there as well. I'll do a video of that in the future. But that is my review of the Streamlight Sidewinder Military Edition. Again, the colors that you have offer are white, blue, IR, and red four levels of intensity for each, plus two stroke modes. Technically, one is more of a blink mode, and one's a strobe. All in this. If you can get this for $40, that's a good deal. That's what I paid. 40 bucks for this. Overall, this gets really small. I would think, you'd think that it's kind of bulky if you're trying to hold it like this. It isn't. It's very comfortable to hold. You can have your finger on the button ready to go and then flash, flash, you know. And you remember, like you could say, from IR, blue. From IR, 180, white. So if you, once you nail down the color identification and this identification, you can do all the functions in the dark. Would I pick this light up over an Energizer? 40 bucks is steep. So if you can afford it, definitely get it. If not, there's plenty of civilian brand flashlights that'll work. Like I know Energizer has a $15 flashlight that has red and white in it. But if you have, if you can want, if you have a budget for $40 flashlight, this will last you your lifetime, I guarantee it. Well, I can't guarantee it, but if you treat it right, it should last a very, very, very long time. So. That's the uh, Streamlight Sidewinder Compact, or no, Streamlight Sidewinder. It takes double A's. It takes any type of double A you'll throw at it. And this is what I can fit in a grenade pouch. It will fit alone in a grenade pouch. But you, uh, I'm gonna do one more thing, and that's I'm gonna try to use a, a coin to open this, to take that off. So if it'll do, I'm gonna see if that'll, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Found a dime. And the dime does not work. The penny does not work. So coins cannot take that screw off. So, just saying, you'll have to have a screwdriver or a Gerber MP600. That'll be an upcoming video but you cannot use coins to do this. Anyway, that was my review of the Streamlight Sidewinder. If you have any comments, please put them below. I will answer every single one of them. Please like the video so others can get an in-depth review of this light and decide if they'd like to add it to their EDC. S HTF bag or anything like that. Um, consider subscribing, it would help me because I can make more videos like this. And I will. I'm going to be reviewing this next. This is a the military's current e multi-tool. Then I will be doing a K-Bar review and who knows what else. So consider helping um, by leaving a comment, share this with your friends you know who do this kind of military stuff. Um, if you want to see more in-depth review, leave a comment and I will do more review. Other than that, um, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. 
Um, and I will be doing in my upcoming video, I will do a test to see how far away you can get with these in the highest mode and still visibility. So be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing a face-to-face -face battle between this and the, side, the Sidewinder, Streamlight Sidewinder and the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact. That'll be an upcoming video. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.